As most of you know, I'm not a Republican nor a Democrat. I'm a monarchist. I want to tell you about my candidate. He's a king of the Jews. Yes, he is going to play the racial card here. He's the king of the Jews. He's the king of Israel. He's a national king. Wow. My king is a racial king. My king is a national king. He's the king of all the ages, the king of heaven, the king of glory, and king of kings, and Lord of lords. And the real issue for each of us, do you know him? Do you really know him? He was a prophet before Moses, a priest after Melchizedek, a champion like Joshua, an offering in the place of Isaac, a king from the line of David, a wise counselor above Solomon. He was beloved, rejected, and then exalted son like Joseph, but yet far more. The heavens declare his glory. The firmament shows his handiwork. He who is, who was, and always will be, the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, the Alpha and the Tau, the A and the Z. Yes, he was the first fruits of them that slept. He's the ego I me, the ichyach asher ichyach, the I am that I am. He was the voice of the burning bush. Yes, he was the captain of the Lord's host. He was the conqueror of Jericho, despite what the music says. He's enduringly strong, entirely sincere, eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful, impar imperially powerful, impartially merciful. In him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily the very God of very God. He's our kinsman redeemer, but he's also our avenger of blood. He's our city of refuge. He's our performing high priest, our personal prophet, our reigning king. He's the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. He's the fundamental doctrine of theology. He's the supreme problem in higher criticism. He's the miracle of all the ages, the superlative of everything good. You and I are the beneficiaries of a love letter. It was written in blood on a wooden cross, erected in Judea some 2,000 years ago. He was crucified on a cross of wood, and yet he made the hill on which it stood. By him were all things made that were made. Without him was not anything made that was made. By him are all things held together. Question, what held him to that cross? It wasn't the nails. At any time, you could have said, enough already. I am out of here. What held him to that cross? It was his love for you and me. He was born of a woman so you and I could be born again. He humbled himself so that we could be lifted up. He became a servant so that we could be joint heirs with him. He suffered rejection so that we could become his friends. He denied himself so that he, we could freely receive all things. He gave himself so that he could bless us in every way. He's available to the tempted and tried. He blesses the young. He cleanses the lepers. He defends the feeble. He delivers the captives. He discharges the debtors. He forgives the sinners. He franchises the meek. He guards the besieged. He heals the sick. He provides strength to the weak. He regards the aged. He rewards the diligent. He sympathizes and he saves. His offices are manifold. His reign is righteous. His promises are sure. His goodness is limitless. His light is matchless. His grace is sufficient. His love never changes. His mercy is everlasting. His word is enough. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. I wish I could describe him to you. <laughs> he's indescribable. He's incomprehensible. He's irresistible. He's invincible. The heaven of heavens cannot contain him. Man cannot explain him. The Pharisees couldn't stand him, but soon learned they couldn't stop him. The personal representative of the ruler of the world could not find fault with him. The witnesses could not agree against him. Herod couldn't kill him. The death couldn't handle him. The grave couldn't hold him. He has always been and always will be. He had no predecessor, and he will have no successor. You can't impeach him, and he ain't going to resign. His name is above every name, that at the name of Yeshua, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. His is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. God bless you.